What's good, y'all? My name is JCS, and I'm the owner, founder, Ruda Grand Puba of OCW Fed Nips and City Aries. This is discretion isn't advised today because there will be no profanity for once in my lifetime. As always, I'm late to the bus, but you might be asking yourself, hey, what is OCW Fed? What does that even mean? And I'm here to tell you very quite simply put OCW stand stands for online championship wrestling. Essentially, we use WWE games and we beat the snot out of each other. Guys, gals, and non-binary pals from around the world compete here at the highest possible level with the caveat of not being cheesy, horrible, online, random people that you find in these kind of games because they're not balanced. OCW provides the balance. So I say that to say this. Uh, we'll be talking about gameplay, some questions we have that have not been answered by the WWE 2K22 dev team. A lot of stuff is still out in the open and we're about a, less than a week away before early access on March 8th and then the release on March 11th. So there's a lot of stuff we have yet to figure out. And from a gameplay standpoint, these things are important to us because again, we like to play our friends. In this case, not at home because we're old now, we're older. I don't want people in my house. One dude smells like white hours and pickles. I don't want that in my house, but we could play online all day, every day. That's what we like. So as such, we're gonna try to break down some of this information ask some questions that will probably not get answered because we're not important, but nevertheless, content's content and these questions need to be out there in the ether for those of us who enjoy the online contingent and the gameplay contingent of the WWE franchise of games. Oddly enough, when there was that whole big to-do about what are people looking for, gameplay was not that high on the list, which is depressing. My GM was high on the list, but uh, what we got right now, I guess we'll figure that out if that was a win or loss when the game releases. Anyway, so let's get on with the gameplay and just know that uh, there will be little things in the whatchamacallit on the bottom of the YouTube video to tell you where you can go for the specific information you're looking for so that you know you can find what you want to find because we're going to con we're going to conquer or contemplate gameplay and then we're going to move on to some online stuff. And maybe we'll figure something out. Maybe we won't. This is all theory crafting. This is all hypothetical. This is all nobody's answering our questions. So we got to figure out an inference and ask these questions to see if we can get what we got to get to. Anyway, first thing first, our papa creeps all the honeys. But in this case, we're talking about combos, the combo systems. We will explain that while it won't be Mortal Kombat-esque, there will be combos associated with wrestlers. The combo combinations or the button combinations rather will in essence be tailored to the specific wrestler and i would assume created wrestler or as it's called now cast created create a superstar that being said my combination of xxa can be wholly different than someone else's combination of xxa versus the uh actual wwe wrestlers combination of xxa and the list goes on and on so when it comes to combos here are some questions how many combos per wrestler can they be assigned to end with any standing grapple can the strikes in the middle of a combo be changed to completely unique strikes? What can we do with the combo system? How diverse is this alleged combo system that the WWE 2K devs are so uh, vehemently pushing forward? As as it was also mentioned by the creative director, Lionel Jinx, he said that that's where they're going. This is what they want, and that's going to be the method moving forward. So we need to know how these combos work and get some more inferences as to how, what we can do, what we can do when we fight online. And speaking of online, one thing you also want to do online against people who stink is block them. But here we're talking about the 2K system, 2K22 blocks. Do they only stop strikes? Are there different blocking animations? For example, can is there like a, a, a blocking animation for maybe a boxing style, a strong style, a big man style, a lucha style? If there are different types of styles for the blocking, can these be assigned to specific creative wrestlers? Or I'm sorry, creative superstars? Or are they just inherently locked into the WWE contingent and whatever happens with the KAS or KAS is basically stuck with the default? We need to know. Again, let's move on. Again, let's move on. You get the idea. Let's talk about dodges. You know, you showed, you, they showed us some dodging mechanics. They showed us bobbing and weaving. So what I got from the basics of the videos that I saw, which included the gameplay videos with uh, Finn Balor and Roman Reigns, and I believe it's Brock Lesnar and R-Truth. When you do, in fact, dodge, uh, there is a bit of an animation. Uh, it's subtle, so thank God for that. But if you whiff a dodge, you will be left open to be punished. Is that the correct case? Can these dodges st stop strikes and grapples? 
Can you potentially dodge out of a finisher? Is there a penalty for going dodge happy? Do you lose stamina? Do you wind up being stunned? What happens with the dodges and how can we apply this again online? Moving on, one of the caveats of online that we've enjoyed up until 2016 was the infinite reversals. With the iterations of 16 up until 19 and including 20, we had reversal stocks. This was met with, eh, we're not going to get into that, but depending on who you spoke to, some people loved it. Some people was not big fans of the dodge of them, sorry, the reversal mechanic. So my question is with the infinite reversals, how are mid moves? Are, are there mid moves still in the game? Is it basically, is the mid move state only locked into when you stun an opponent regarding that? And speaking of the stun of, uh, of the stun meter, um, you can't reverse while stunned. I'm assuming that's a given. So it's I would assume that it's similar to the uh, the mid move state. Can you do anything else defensive while you are quote unquote stunned, uh, or you're just basically gonna sit there like a dummy and get your ass beat? Um, is there a way to make it go lower or faster other than the default is? It's the stun meter tied into anything, any type of stats. What I did notice about the stun meter is that uh, light attacks don't really do a lot of stun. I might actually have that reversed with heavy attacks. Either way, it seems certain moves will bring up the stun meter incredibly quickly, incredibly high, high but also the, the stun meter decreases or yeah, decreases or decays if you want to be fancy rather quickly. So that can be potentially an issue when it comes to online. If it, if it's just a default static stat or a default static state that isn't tied into specific stats, that can be heavily abused online in the sense that in order to avoid being stunned, you merely just have to, you know, run away because at the rate in which it decays, it's pretty goddamn fast. So that's something you might want to take, take a look at. If you watch some of the gameplay footage, you will see how the stun just kind of goes away immediately and once you're uh, i guess once you get pinned it, it looked like in the match with uh who was it i can't remember which of the two matches but there was a point where somebody was stunned and they did their you know their rigmarole then they went for the pin and once the pin was done uh that that meter was gone completely speaking of pin and subs uh the slower pin falls is that going to be tweaked? Is it going to be faster in the final version? Hopefully, because that one right now, I know in essence, they slowed it down just so that people can have a chance to mash out, which is another thing with, with the, the mash meter. Um, I don't hate how the mat, the mashing system looks because you can actually see the progress of your, I guess, kicking out of the pin with via the mash meter as in the old games where you would mash, mash and mash. And, you know, maybe you kick out and here comes the pin. Maybe you don't. I don't know. It's, it's whatever happens, happens, man. So with the uh, the button mash mini game, uh, is there no skill based ways to end the match other than the the mini game? I know that they have the option of going to the wheel, from which was basically for the older games. And I, when I say older, I mean two K sixteen up until two K twenty. You can do the wheel, but again, I'm gonna assume just based on the principles that these games always rarely ever have a gigantic online feature list that the wheel will not be available online. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Hopefully there's an option for it, but I, and again, I don't see that. And the reason I say that is because in the older games, you could turn off infinite reversals. I mean, you can turn on infinite reversals and play that locally, but you could never do it online. Why? Who the hell knows? But you never had the option. So you, you know, never had a chance. So then the next question revolves around submissions. We saw that essentially it's a, a bash game to get out of submission, similar to when you have the over the top rope mechanic, where you're trying to get somebody out of the ring with that, with that mini game. Is that the only mini game? Are there going to be other mini games? What's going to happen online? Again, a lot of these questions revolve. What is going to happen online? So then we move on to the next bit of information, stamina and vitality. Is it out of the game? If it's still in the game, what effect does it have? Are the tired animations also out of the game? If you remember a lot of the games, you know, pick your pick your poison. You would have exhaustion, especially in 2K19, depending on some of the matches, you would see lots of exhaustion based on stamina. So we need to know like, you know, what's going on with that. And last on the gameplay front, what are we doing about the camera? I personally, this has been a point of contention with a lot of folks. This camera reminds me of the WWE 2K12 uh, and 13 camera. I love it. I prefer the more immersive experience if i'm honest but what happens again when you go online is it going to be still closed in for the multi-man matches or are they going to be further 
you know, spread out. I don't know. Who knows? Speaking of multi-man matches, it's been confirmed when you look at the, the box art and when you look at the player or the game breakdown online, when you go to pre-order, that there's eight play. It says eight players, which is up from two, which is up, I'm sorry, up from six in the older game. What, how does this work? Are we going to have what... If there's no no new match types, then how does that affect the eight player limit now? Does that mean that we're going to have um, is that just basically for when we do rumbles or, you know, battle royales? But technically, wouldn't that be a new mode? Uh, again, we need some clarification, because if you can allow eight players, that in includes a lot of flexibility for some new match types or at least some new options when it comes to things like, you know, tag matches four on four maybe two versus two versus two wait two versus two versus two versus two uh, yeah four teams four teams of two survivor series type matches uh you know maybe even war games again we've been told there's no new match features or new uh basically match types so what's to deal with the extra additional bodies online or rather does this even affect online so is just is this just local only Will this be online? If it is online, has there been any changes to the net code? Because we know the 2K net code for WWE is horrible. So what changes are going to be reflected in that? I don't know. If you know, put it in the comments below because, bruh, I need to know who. So speaking of uh, needing to know in creation, and well, that really was a horrible segment, but you get the point. So what we know about creator superstar, which is used to be creator wrestler, go figure. What we do know is that there's 100 slots, 100 cost slots, and sadly, that is disappointing. In this day and age, with new generations uh, and better technology and gigantic hard drive space, I would at least prefer or rather would like to know the reasoning behind the 100 player call created limit. I would just any kind of reasoning explanation would be greatly appreciated because in this day and age, you have a game like Fire Pro, which I understand Fire Pro is very, oh, it's only two dimensions. Sure, no problem. But Fire Pro, you can have, I don't know, 1,200? I'm not asking for 1,200 cost slots. But we can, we can definitely do 300. We can definitely do, like, I feel like we can do 500. I feel like we can definitely, definitely do 500. But then again, that ties into the whole amount of assets because that was also... Uh, leaked or not really leaked but dis discovered that it is just like the other games where you're capped at a thousand I, I believe it's a thousand what is it so in my head i'm assuming you can just do you know use 10 no one ever uses 10 but you could just break it down 10 by by 100 but again that's a horrible example because there's plenty of people that go use a metric ton of layers for their cause there's something that's not act acting correctly and i think that uh you know i think we should have more options regarding that i think we honestly should have our hard drives can allow for a deeper call experience or cast experience so moving on with the the uh the creative superstar stuff i'm assuming there's no new paybacks or at all but maybe we'll we'll learn something uh create a moveset are we gonna have the release superstar assets in in this in create a moveset i would assume so just under different names like i don't know punky or something you have cm punk stuff because there's literally since 2015 there's so much data that can be used or recycled and just re-accessed but you know that's neither here nor there will we ever see it who the hell knows i know if you decide to mod the game on pc you can have a wonderful time because the powers of modding compels you go figure is limb target tar wow is limb targeting still a thing can we target limbs it looks like in the, in the new iteration you can't so i'd like some clarification on limb targeting if somebody wants to talk about that great are the carry moves from the old game still in them but i say the old games i mean 2k20 2k19 can you do a carry move into a, into a, like a, you know a power bomb or a body slam or something cool because those are so fun especially when you carry somebody and you chuck their ass out the ring through a now table that explodes dynamically which is an awesome feature by the way so kudos to that moving right along because i'm quick-witted and quick silver tongue devil Creator modes. I know we have CAA, which is create an arena, and I know we have CAC, which I will never be comfortable saying. Create a belt is now create a championship. It makes sense, but it's still CAC. Google it if you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we know these modes are in. We saw the the championships in CAC, and they look wonderful, especially with the new lighting engines and whatnot. And I'm assuming for next generation, they're gonna look fantabuloso, which is great, fantastic. And we know creative arena is in, in the game as well, but are these going to be online? That is the critical point of contention 
regarding online. Our creative arena and create a championship going to be online. In 2K20, I believe create a belt championship was eventually available online, but I know creative arena wasn't. And while 2K20 was a dumpster fire, the one thing that it did have in abundance was a ton of wonderful assets that should have been able to be used in creations in some capacity, which was an opportunity that was just not available. Doesn't I don't understand why, doesn't make any sense. Speaking of creative arena, I'm going on a bit of a tirade. I apologize, but hey, it's my channel. It's my show. I can cry if I want to. So you have creative arena. We've established or the devs established that we're going to have up to, I believe, 54 or 55 in the comments. If you want to say something, how many we have. But it's, it looks like including the NWO pack for life too sweet me, bro. We're going to have about 50 something plus arenas i would prefer i would like i would try to understand if there's any possible way that we can have these pieces from these arenas to use and create an arena i don't understand why this wouldn't be possible but again i'm not a game developer so what the hell do i know i do know that back in the other games in 2k 18 and 19 uh the loading would actually load assets that weren't even displayed in the actual game or the actual match via pc which is fun to watch so if you don't know what i'm saying i'm saying that in 19 uh you could actually check out the processes processes and you could see that the game would actually load a backstage area that would never be accessed while you're playing single or while you're playing online so the purpose of loading those extra assets was pointless things like this which i'm assuming were repaired and fixed in the new games but who knows but i digress the point i'm making is with the advent of all these brand new spanking arenas and i'm assuming there might be some custom content from 2k22 maybe i think they might be leaning away from the spoopy content even though it's kind of cool will these assets be available online and will these assets also be available and carry on into the creative arena hopefully like there were some cool arenas in 19 that couldn't be used the the, the baseball arena couldn't be used on was it baseball arena there was some kind of arena i know there was one in mexico that looked like a little bodega spot which was cool and there was some various very indie rific arenas that couldn't be used online or, or rather they couldn't be used in creative arena give us the option we don't ask for much okay so now we moving on to the next part of the creation portion or the i guess i don't know we're all over the place but try to stay with stay with me we know the highlight reel the video editor we know that it's actually fixed from 2k19 uh 2k20 so thank god for that um we are aware that 2k19 uh basically all that stuff and all the 20 stuff will be available in the new highlight reel or, or the video editor it's about 28 29 seconds i believe uh, serviceable honestly very serviceable um and it's been quoted as no longer being broken so that's great but are there any other changes um i read somewhere there wasn't anything so no new effects and possibly not many new cutscenes. i guess we'll find out for more i don't know will titles be finally customizable in the cutscenes? that would be nice but i'm not holding my breath and ha huh, boy here we go we're on we're on the last the last hurrah for this so if you're still with me i appreciate you greatly i'm trying my best it's hard out here for a pimp let me know what you think in the comments if you want to it's your life you do what you want to we're talking more about online will a majority of settings be toggleable online such as blood potential reverse re re reversal stocks and the pin sub meter like i mentioned earlier um again i would love to see more options available online but again i'm not holding up my breath this was this was posted by my producer maxi so you know these are some of the things he brought to the table but again it would be nice if we can you know have more customization online for our match settings and types will we have this i'm gonna say no but if anyone from 2k hears this or if anybody hears this you know get the word out we want options online we need these options online we need something can we finally choose referees online that'd be dope you know we've been stuck for that one referee for so damn long it seems like like a tiny thing but in in reality when you look at the scope of these games from 2004 to the present all that's been taken away you know buried alive matches uh, uh inferno matches first blood all kinds of matches that just been you know for some bad some for worse some for better but at least we had the option and you can work from it and yes i know some of these matches most of these matches aren't even indicative of modern day wwe but hey here's a funny thing neither is the legends pack 
these legends are we love the legends but again this is old wwe so you can't make the argument well that's no longer here yeah no duh kimasabi neither is most of the stuff that they're adding as add-ons these people are here you know god rest the dead big boss man he is in the game so don't give me that nonsense about hey man well well it's not no not it's a video game we want to have fun with our friends online give us the option kimasabi come on and then match types. Are we gonna have online match title matches? Anything along this nature? Anything? Can someone let me know, please? And again, are we gonna have some of these modes that are offline available online? Like, you know, handicap matches upon handicap matches, the rumble, can we get something? Just something, let us know. We have one week away and I can, I can almost promise, hopefully tomorrow we'll get information, but probably now we'll probably get some My Faction stuff, but that's about it. I just want people to care about online because online is dope. Has the net code, and finally, last but not least, the net code. Has the net code been fixed? Has the net code been looked at? Has the net code been tweaked so that it doesn't crash every damn time? Has the net code been fixed that if you're on Xbox Series X, brand new Xbox hardware, that you could actually have multiplayer man match? Something. Has it been fixed that the PlayStation version uh, isn't inherently more fun to play online because of a slight frame rate advantage for smoother gameplay compared to an Xbox title. Same game, same exact, same hardware, but eh. I also got one more thing and I almost forgot it, but I'm glad I remember it. Will we have a stupid, unnecessary, redundant, idiotic, secondary HUD taking up a good chunk of screen real estate on the right hand side of the screen like 2k20 was online now i say that because the creative directors and everybody from 2k22 wants to have this immersive experience and you know what i find immersive when i'm going online to fight my friends who i saw who they picked i saw who they were in the lobby he picked Stone Cold Steve Austin. My man picked Stone Cold Steve Austin. Piff Branson picked Stone Cold Steve Austin. So why the hell do I need to see Piff Branson as Stone Cold Steve Austin on my goddamn screen when we go online? I already know it was him. I don't need to know he's talking. I know his voice. I don't need anything. I know who he is because he's in the lobby with me. Why was that a thing in 2K20? That was abysmal and just grating and so immersion breaking. So if you wanna have immersion, let us know. We're gonna have that dumbass HUD that was in 2K20 on 2K22. If so, turn it off. Makes no damn sense whatsoever. I know who I'm fighting because they in the lobby with me. Never need to know who, I, who I'm fighting because they in the lobby with me. I can use my creative, my cognitive thinking and know who I'm fighting, who I'm targeting. I don't need to know the name and the and the uh, whatever the gamer tags and the PSN IDs because I saw them in the lobby. I know who it is. I don't need it glaringly on the side of the entrances. I don't need it on the right side of my screen taking up a large chunk of real estate. I don't need to see it. So hopefully that won't be a thing. But if it is, I'd like to know. And if you can, can you turn it off? That's about it. I'm sorry. That got me heated. I hated that damn thing. Looking at it was just uh we want immersion great i want immersion too don't break my immersion online thank you very much that was it so thank you for listening to my tirade hopefully you learned something maybe you did maybe you have questions maybe you have answers if you have answers put them in the comments below thanks for listening have a wonderful evening night day and maybe we'll learn more before the 8th and the 11th who knows god bless